why lack of sleep is actually harmful for the brain in the molecular level because you have these synapses synapses so, are the connection connections between, between the various uh, neuronal circuits uh, they are fatigued they are a constant uh, state wherein these uh, neurotransmitters are sitting there when the person is not having enough sleep when the person is awake and they need to be replenished they need to be the ones which are there need to be kind of uh, recharged recharged they have to be degraded new ones have to be formed and that kind of fatigues these circuits and that's what happens the production of the synaptic uh, neurotransmitters as we call are not as optimum mm-hmm. in a person uh, who is completely rested and as a result you would find that the person would be a little slow in the next day in the way he works and then that person will not be able to perform adequately his responses are slow you would see that when a person such a person is driving he is not as much concentrating on the road his mental calculation his faculty slowness all that would creep in the tone of the muscles are also affected mm-hmm. and the person feels very tired uh, very lethargic you would have seen that many times like if you try to stay awake beyond a certain period of time and then you try to fall asleep you don't fall asleep right that's because that that cycle is lost and that keeps on happening again and again right. by the time it's about 2 3 weeks you are totally in a different frame of mind right. 